Hello everyone. In here in my metal coffin again. And uh still have our pumpkin friends. Now I know Halloween may be close, and those pumpkins were the only thing I wanted to do that was festive. But I just happened to have this book. Well, I've known about it. And I want to show all of you the extremely good art of this book. Now I know you're thinking, Scholastic? That's for babies. That's a baby's toy. Who likes Scholastic anymore, babies? Oh, that. Look at that pose. It's so insane. That could have been a little better. But, uh, these are some insane poses that I've yet to see any comic pull off. I mean, with comics, the poses are extremely dynamic, but what usually happens is that the posing is actually impossible for a human to contort to, or they cheat. More on that later. So let's go. This is also a little damaged since it has this elder kid. So yeah. Excuse that. Now, I'm pretty sure 90, no, no, like 70% of these monsters are literally just the same thing, just in different languages. Regardless, they, uh, they, uh, position them differently, I guess. Hopefully I'm not doxing anything. Tangerines, don't even know what those are. Now, uh, design. No, where's the pictures? Here, Mike Taylor and Tom Connell, art agency. Right now. We're going to go to a random one. Here. Why do you stare at that? There's something odd with these cl scholastic friggin illustrators. They're ghosts. And yeah, I know. Monster book ghosts. Real funny. They're ghosts. I can't seem to find them online. If they go under pre pen names, what kind of pen names are these? They're so boring. Now them I have found, but they've done so little so far. At least a very little online presence that they may as well be ghosts. And yeah, I guess being an illustrator for Scholastic means cover your suicide. You won't get to do another book again. Hmm, I didn't notice that. She actually causes the light to shine. That's pretty cool. Is that or it's just the light? Anyways, no more talking. No, I, I won't go through all these monsters. I mean, these are pretty. Well, there's Francis from Rain. My sister uh, kind of got me into that show until I killed off Francis. And then I didn't care anymore. And, uh, yeah, if you've seen these kind of books, because I also have a cryptid one that's just the same thing, which I hope to, which I will show you eventually. I hope you're not expecting freaking birds. I thought I picked another time of day to not, okay, anyways, so she's pretty cute, but we're just, we can just go to any, almost any page. And we get these dynamic poses. I mean, that, that's a pretty generic anime pose butt off. Back to the comic artists. Oh, check this out. Obviously, Robert Pattinson is, must be copyrighted by whoever made the Twilight film, so. <laughs> they had to make him look like a redhead Michael Jackson. That looks so. Anyways. So back to, what was that word? 
dynamic posing in comics. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad thing that they cheat, but... Okay, here's the thing, let me explain. When they draw a torso of a person... No, when they draw someone in a dynamic pose, you know, they draw the torso straight on, like, pretty stiff, no bent, no bending as if their spines don't bend, while their legs seem to overlap their torsos. I can't really do it with my finger because that's impossible. Like, let me let me just say that. Let's but just a torso like this. And it's a front view of like a comic book superhero running. So her leg would be flipped all the way like this. The kneecap would be up here. Even though it most likely would be like right here. This torso would be completely unbent like that, and her head will be bent up, which is the most realistic aspect. And they look like they're about to fall over because they're only 12 inches off the ground. Now this, this is a crazy pose. Now. My favorite thing about these poses is that they're all proportionally accurate. How do you pronounce that? Vrykolekis? Vrykolakes? It's in Greece, so... Volkodlak. Codlac? Hmm. Codlac. Codlac. Anyways, I think these uh, illustrations were done over a period of. Hey, enough dogs, dang. Were done over a period of like a few days in order for these poses to be completely accurate. And or he used extreme reference. Like Rosetta did. Or he's just really that good that he's able to do a dynamic pose and it's totally proportionate. And yeah. Now, doing legs in a dress is pretty difficult. But, you know. You're, you're tempted to cheat when you're doing legs in a dress. You're tempted to extend the kneecap outward way much. And then the cloth hanging off the legs, you know. Just like here. Now this is prime anime, anime waifu material. I wouldn't mind being frozen to death by her. Now, don't take what I'm about to say out of context, but I like how you can still tell, I like how you can still tell that, yeah, this used to be a human Eastern man, a human Asian man, an Asian man, but now he's been morphed and just corrupted extremely. Now, I have to admit, these uh, illustrations on the side art aren't as impressive. I mean, who is that, Zhuge Leon? Where's his fan? What kind of pose is this? That's pretty funny. Now, this, this is a... This is one of those times where, as cool as, I, as, cool as the pose is, uh, it's pretty funny. If I saw my dog pose like that, I'd, uh, well, I don't know what I'd do. Oh, this is a weird name. Nidhogg. K. Jabberwock's a cooler name anyway. 
Is it Jabberwock in this? No, I, I don't. Yeah, it is actually. Now did the Thunderbird rip off the Impun Impundulu? Maybe. Now uh, here's a bit of contention here. Her head is. Well, her whole body is disproportionately large to his. And, you know, through the laws of nature, a woman's head is smaller than a man's. I must get the boo high, that's weird. Um. That is a pretty standard pose. This must have been an early one. That's pretty funny to look at, I guess. Now that's, they couldn't use Lon Chaney Jr. or the actual actor that played that guy, so they didn't try to make him look like him, which I'm impressed. I don't know if these sizes are already accurate at all. We'll, we'll end on Count Orlock, because we're going over the 10 minute mark and YouTube don't like that. It's pretty dumb. They still call him Nosferatu, even though it's Count Orlock. But they call him Count Orlock here. I know he was originally Dra Count Dracula. Again, these are some expertly done paintings. Imagine if there was a comic book done with these dynamic poses. It'd blow my mind. Alright, kudos. It's been 12 minutes. Enough of this.